Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Thanks for joining me here on my postcard series that we've been having. Um, in this video, we'll, this is postcard number 10. And we're all done. And if you stick with me, you'll watch me create this. And if you're kind of confused, there's a playlist called Postcards, Making Postcards Together. Watch all of them, all the way up to number 10 and then you'll be all updated on how we got here. But in this video, we're finishing it all up. All right, guys, thanks for staying with me and just keeping me company, and I'm keeping you guys company. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. And I'll say hi again in a second. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? We're at it with our postcards so that we can move on to new projects, right? And to get them done because they're always a surprise towards the end when we're finished, right? So, I was staring at this one for a little bit. And remember, we still have the owl. I'm going to glaze the eyes. These two are staying the same. This one's coming up. But we want to finish the originals, which would be these, these three. And I already finished this one. This one, the video's already up. This one's next, and then one of these we'll pick. Depends on the mood. So I was looking at this, and I'm thinking it needs some green. It needs some greenage. We need some greenage. Okay. Don't have too many options as far as it goes with green. So we're going to use what we have. And what we have, as Elizabeth says, is enough. And that is very true. And I'm using my paintbrushes that I got in Happy Mail from Lisa. And I'm going to test out the shape that I'm going to get from it. But it has too much water for me right now. Alright, let's try it again. That's good. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Brighten it up a tad. Just like that. And always use up what I have left on my brush. Always. Alright. We're off to a good start. Well, a good finish. A finish start, start finish. One of those. This one is school bus, basically yellow. I just think that it needs a little more brightening. And as I do, I do as I do. Whatever that may be, it may be for you. What? <laughs> I'm just being silly. Mm. I think, I want to leave this open, I want to clean off my brush, but, let's see, I want to put some yellow in there too, since most likely it would have buds down here, right? New little yellow plants ready to come out. It already makes me very happy to see this. Very happy. pulled out this purple and no clue why, but it just came out so we're going to use it. Can you guys see? Whoops, let me get you a little closer. I just slammed all sorts of paint all over my camera. All over. Right. I say this one's done except for I need a little bit of white in there. If my gel pin worked, I would have used the gel pin in there, but actually right now it's wet, so we're just going to go ahead and use just white paint.
These flowers are what I call my wild flowers. No two are alike. They're like fantasy flowers. I really like them. Alright, we're done. And then when I come back, what you guys will see is all dried and then we'll gloss it together and then that'll be done and then we'll move on to one or the other whichever I feel in the mood to do and I'll see you guys in a little bit hi everybody it's a few days later and we're going to finish up one of our postcards and I'm going to use the Cupage crystal glitter and then we might varnish it with some triple thick. Maybe depending on how nice this triple, I'm not triple, decoupage glue is. Then I'm kind of thinking I might do some kind of um, Christmas ornaments. Maybe. Let's see, Christmas for me, in my mind, is not like. Santa or stuff like that. Kind of like more of a eclectic Christmas. So, I'm thinking in my brain what to do for an eclectic Christmas. An eclectic Christmas. I'm sorry I talk so low. People are sleeping. Meaning people with four legs and I don't want to wake the beast has anything in here um, smeared? I don't know it doesn't matter if it has or has it then I'm going to dry it off camera because the heat gun is so annoying to me and loud lately it used to not be but it is now just been quiet around the house so very quiet without having a big dog in the house it's been really really quiet so I'm, I'm in the quiet mode just turn up your speakers and you can hear me okay so I'm gonna let that dry we're gonna come back we're gonna do either one of these two and then I'm gonna think of what to do for an eclectic Christmas ornament or something like that I have an idea, but I'm not sure. But we, you'll see. I want it to be something different with things that we use in our craft rooms or as crafters or artists. But something different that screams my name. Alright, so I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys. All dried up. And I say this is done. Now, if you go back into... Mm, Maybe a year ago, you'll see that I have some of these postcards in this style. And I think I even called them fantasy flowers back then. I think even up to two years ago. Now we're done, and it's all glossy and very pretty. Get it up close. Let's start from the top. Not that close. Like that close. I love it. And this is the one where we we rolled. Uh, what was it that we rolled here? I forgot already. Yep, all done. We rolled something there. Not... don't actually remember what we rolled there. I'd have to go back and watch. If you remember, leave it in the comments down below. And thanks again. And we'll be moving on to one of these. So this will be part 10. This will be part 11, and this will be part 12. Then we'll move on to something else. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. And have yourself a good creative day. Or night. Bye, guys.